Good morning. You are tuned in to Guardian Angels Brockton Community Talk video cast. Now this morning we have something to talk about that just happened out in Springfield, Massachusetts a couple days ago. Rest in peace, RIP to 11-year-old Carl Walker Hoover of Springfield. And on behalf of the Guardian Angels, our condolences to the family. Um, Carl committed suicide the other day. And you know why? Bullies. That's right, bullies. A bunch of kids at school have been picking on Carl constantly for a long time, calling him things like gay and, acting, and telling him he acted like a girl. Now, here's the thing. Apparently, school administrators knew about it and did nothing. They just said, well, it's just childhood immaturity. That's all it is. It'll go away. Except in this case, immaturity led to the tragic death of an 11-year-old kid, Carl Walker Hoover. Now, folks, it doesn't take rocket science to see that this is really unacceptable. We can't let this kind of thing go on in our schools. You know, we send our kids to school, you know, with the faith that they're going to go to class, learn things, come home, grow up, go to college, and move on with their lives and become something. But instead, our kids go to school and they get bullied, and sometimes it escalates to violence. You know, suicide obviously being a form of that, you know, inflicted, of course, not you know, more indirectly by the bullies themselves, because obviously if it hadn't been for them, Carl would still be alive. Now, you know something? Bullying is nothing new. Now let me tell you a little something about my own teenage years. I don't do this very often, but I'm going to do it now because it's, it, it's applicable. When I was in junior high school, attending Elm Street Junior High School in Nashua, New Hampshire, oh, let me tell you, I was a skinny little 13-year-old kid and I had like acne on my face and I tried everything, all that oxy stuff and all that clearasil and all that, nothing worked. I had these two zits right underneath my nose, right here, where I have a mustache now. Now all these kids kept calling me headlights. Well, here comes headlights. You know, and they did this for days and days and days and days and days and finally just drove me stark raving mad and I just grabbed one of the kids and smacked him in the face because I just grew tired of it. So you can see how bullying escalates and become a problem. And in many communities, it escalates into violence, it spills out onto the streets, and it becomes, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of hand in hand with the whole gang problem. So, what are we going to do? I mean, obviously we talk about a problem, we need to talk about solutions. Well, for one thing, obviously it falls upon school officials to, to do something about this and to stop bullying when they find out about it. Uh, problem with bullying is it not only makes life miserable for the victims but you know like I was just saying it escalates into violence and get a lot worse than what's just happening to one kid and by the way if you yourself are a bully and if you're listening to me right now if you yourself are a bully it's your responsibility to stop stop what you're doing and you know what else if you've been bullying kids I challenge you go up to those kids shake their hand and apologize. That's the manly thing to do. You want to grow up and become a man, right? Well, now is the time to start thinking about what that means. It means responsibility. It means acting responsible. Stop bullying your fellow kids and treat them the way you want to be treated. I said in an earlier segment, the golden rule. Do unto others what you would have them do unto you. Now, the guardian angels have an anti-bullying program, by the way. We can go into the schools, we can talk to teachers, we can talk to administrators, we can start anti-bullying programs right here in Brockton, because you know it goes on here. It goes on in every single community across this country, and we're no exception. I've seen it happen myself. I walk down the street, I see some kid bullying another kid, I say, hey, what the hell are you doing? Come on, you know? Is that the way you want to be treated? So it's up to school officials and it's up to obvious, you know, citizens in general to do something about the bullying problem. If you see it going on in the streets, put a stop to it. And let's uh, get together as a community and see what we can do about getting an anti-bullying program going right here in Brockton and give our kids something else to do besides pick on each other. Until next time, this is Bruce Burleson of the Brockton Guardian Angels. And remember, keep it safe.